guys or welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new today we are playing our sims 3 store world legacy challenge and on screen we have our cute little baby boy ace who will be aging up in this episode i think it's his birthday in one day so that's insane he's gonna be a child um so we're really gonna get a move on with the more kids uh, having more kids so that's the plan i did go ahead and create sammy's potential future husband slash future baby daddy so hopefully we can run into him and hopefully you guys like him as well so when we see him i will obviously show you i also went ahead and built the future house that we will move into now it's quite expensive it's like 130k or something like that i can't quite remember but it is way better suited to sammy so we need to save up our money so we can move in there so hopefully if we do you know get along with the potential baby daddy hopefully he'll bring in some money so we can afford the house so yeah that's the plan for eventually this episode we're just going to vibe out and see what we can do so let's get right into it shall we okay so sammy has just fed ace on the floor and it's his birthday in one day so he'll be edgy up tomorrow so he can just kind of vibe out i'm pretty sure he knows everything so he should be good on that um please don't paint the left pile you'll have to you'll have to have a shower so last episode we went ahead and built this greenhouse which looks kind of rough because it's, you know, we don't have a lot of a lot of space. But upon reloading, the plants have actually come back to life. So that's amazing. It's a win. It doesn't look great, but it'll do. Anyway, let's get Sammy in here coming and preparing some food. Because we need to max that skill. We are level 6. So no rush on that. We'll, we'll get there eventually. Especially when we have kids when we have to start cooking them food more often. Ace, you're fine. Just, just come, come play with your toys. So what I think we'll do today is we will come and like chill out with the chickens and stuff i think our plants uh don't need tending or anything because they they did go dormant so we have to wait till tomorrow which is fine so oh has that money tree grown sorry just jumping everywhere life plant life plant flame fruit plasma death flower where did i put it i don't know if i'm stupid or if like the money trees aren't here life plant life plant flame fruit plasma death flower death flower apple 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 apple, apple. Lime banana. I thought I put them over here. Interesting. Okay, we might have to take a trip to the greenhouse and try to find some more because I honestly don't know where they've gone. That is so weird. Oh, we got a rare egg. We'll sell that one. 1500 simoleons. It's going to help us towards our quest for the house. Um, So the house I built is over here. So it's a really big lot. So here's a bit of a sneak peek into the build um so yeah this is what it looks like lots of uh farming space chickens of course there's a greenhouse out the back some kids stuff and yeah so this is the house i built off camera so it is one hundred and forty six thousand dollars. so we need to save up quite a bit we only have a 9k but that's fine we'll actually get there especially when we have a husband bringing in some income as well i'm so confused about these plants where did they go the money trees seriously they were i literally put them in here i swear did i hide them from myself i don't i don't know what i've done with them well i think because i can't find them we're gonna have to go to the greenhouse which is fine maybe we'll run into the potential man let me try oh there's some fish so where's the greenhouse it's yeah so let's go visit the greenhouse i believe i move here we go nathaniel that's his name nathaniel easily so that is the sim he lives just here he's not home at the moment so hopefully we'll run into him because She's quite close to his house. Little does she know that her future husband is there. Oh, also, I gave her an updated um, everyday outfit because I thought that we got a bit sick of seeing the same thing. So this is it. This is what it looks like. Very cute. Anyway, all right. We're on a hunt for money tree seeds. So the unknown rare seed. Rare. Rare. We're looking for all the rares and the specials, okay? Okay, so she's picking up just the last few. And I'm also going to get her to pick this flower because I think these ones are worth, like, 500 simoleons or something so may as well um and then we're gonna see if any of these are money tree seeds fingers crossed they are okay so the flower is 400 simoleons yeah there we go all right let's come in identify these seeds really quickly see if we've gotten lucky i'm really annoyed about that because now we have to wait for these ones to grow all over again all right she's identified them so we've got ghost chilies bumble leaf bananas nothing in there plasma life death okay well i'm gonna sell the the sack there and we're gonna keep looking all right all right she's picked up some more seeds let's see what she's got now all right what you got now <gasps> money tree seed okay we got one money tree seed all right we're gonna have a quick scour for a little bit more just a wee bit just you know just maybe a couple more 
Because we have three money trees. Like, that's really, you know, quite a loss. I think I'll check the household inventory when we get back home in case they somehow ended up in there. Getting a phone call. Right, let's answer our phone. It's Meadow. Uh, sure, we can chat just for a wee bit. All right, and then we're going to identify their seats and head home because our baby is dying. High five. Wait, is she here? If she's here, why did she ring us? There she is. Okay, there we go. Thank God. Hey, Queen. Let's just tell her a funny story about how she was right about Don. Give a friendly hug and say thank you so much. I mean, I should have listened to you because, you know, he still doesn't contact us. We answer our phone every time and it's never him. So we're going to make a promise to protect her. All right, but we're going to say goodbye to Meadow and then come and identify the seeds we got and then go home because it's 6 p.m. and Ace is probably needing some food and the babysitter is not taking very good care of him. Oh, no money tree in there. Alright, we only got one money tree seed, but that's fine. One is better than none. So let's head on home and take care of our baby. Alright, we're home. How's Ace? Okay, yeah, he is hungry. So let's come in here. Let's give him a snuggle, tickle him, toss him in the air, and then we're going to beat him on the floor. Okay, she's finally fixed after like three hours in game. Oh my god, and a reload of the save. Alright, she's now feeding Ace and sorting him out. Then she's going to send him off to bed. Alright, so while Ace is eating, she can come and use the toilet and take a shower. Alright, she's showering. Then it's bath time for Ace. And then it is bedtime for Acey boy. Okay, since it is 1.30 in the morning, I'm just going to get her to get some leftovers and then head off to bed. Because Ace is probably going to wake up quite early. You know, he's a baby, they do that. So let's just have some leftovers and then go to bed. So I'll see you guys in the morning. Okay, so we just got the pop-up that it's Ace's birthday. So we're going to throw him a birthday party today. Um, we'll invite Dawn, see if he turns out with like Meadow, of course. Um, I think we might this morning go down and meet... Oh, got to pay the bills. i see if we can meet um Nathaniel, the potential baby daddy, and then maybe invite him. So we can make John, Don jealous. So let's just like see if he's awake. <gasps> Go, go, go. Okay, yes, we're turning up to his house. But we've just heard that, you know, he's new in the neighborhood. So, yeah, cool babysitter. So we're just coming to say hi, you know? It, it, it's, it's really not that, that deep, you know? Look, she's running, she's scurrying in. Oh, there he is. Do you see him? He's there. You're gonna open the door? It's raining out here, let me in. Oh God, I don't know what that is. What are you wearing? <gasps> They're attracted to each other. I keep stuff. Hello. So, this is Nathaniel. I'm just going to change his outfit. I don't even know what he's wearing right now. So, so this is... Oh, he's not rendered. Where's render? There we go. So, this is Nathaniel. So, I made him off camera. He is so stinking cute. Like, look at this man. Look at Sammy. <laughs> I love him. I hope you guys really like him. So, he's a potential baby daddy potential husband so fingers crossed but like hey like do you want to come to my son's birthday party to not make the um they're jealous i'm a real son what do you think inspired oh they think each other are so attractive <gasps> attractive company compliment his home right let's consider his attractiveness i want to see what she thinks about him oh he's got to go to work okay all right, well, we met him anyway, so we can invite him to our party tonight. Also, I checked out um, household inventory, and the money trees weren't in there, so I really don't know where they've gone. I actually have no idea. Um, We do have some things to tend, though, which we will work on. Once we've had some breakfast and fed Ace, Roxy and Don have announced they are expecting a new baby. Oh, my God. All right, we'll invite you a dyer. Don, of course. Um, You're a teen. Ron was the handy handyman. We'll invite Nathaniel and Meadow. So it's a birthday party. It can start at 5 p.m. with a casual attire. And yeah. Okay, so that's all set up for 5 p.m., which is amazing. So in the meantime, let's get Sammy outside and tending the garden because we've got things that are dying and we don't want that. Oh, the party's starting soon. Okay. Got a couple of hours to get our garden done. <gasps> Nathaniel's arrived. Right, quit the garden. <gasps> Friendly gossip. I can't believe he came. He was the first one to come as well. There's Mido. Hi, Mido. <gasps> he actually turned up to a son's birthday party. Mido, what are you doing? All right. Well, that was interesting. Let's make sleep face. Mido, stop yelling. Go inside. What is her problem? I don't get it. She's jealous. All right. Anyway, Sammy needs to pee, so we'll let her do that, and then we're going to head inside and... Oh, we learned that he's charismatic. All right, Mido, 
You're being a pain in the ass. All right, so we can buy a birthday cake for Ace. So let's find one of those. Let's get him the chocolate cake. Why not? And then once Sammy has peed, we're going to age up our baby boy. Oh my god, I can't believe he's going to be a child already. All right, it is time to blow out the candles for Ace. Look how cute. Oh my gosh, we need the screenshot. All right, let's see you age up. <gasps> Don celebrating. All right, is Meadow and Jebediah going to celebrate? Oh, this is John. I don't know who John is. All right, John's decided to come along. Oh my gosh, she's blowing out the candles. It's her second birthday. Happy birthday, Ace. Oh my God, he's becoming a child. All right, so he, due to your excellent parenting skills, you may choose a trait for him to develop. Okay, so he is currently easily impressed in a slob. So for the challenge, the traits for the second generation are angler, slob, commitment issues, good sense of humor, and sailor. Um, easily impressed, obviously, we'll get rid of. I I'll do that in creative sim if we can give him two traits. So I'm going to give him angler. And then is there anything else I can give him? Okay, so I'll give him good sense of humor or sailor, one of the two, and creator. So I think good sense of humor because he's a bit young to be a sailor. And he's like never been on the ocean before. So yeah. Um we'll change those when we go into creator sim, but let's see what he looks like without a makeover. <gasps> he's cute. <gasps> Don't mind the cross eye. Oh, adorable. Alright, Meadow's in a terrible mood. Like, she can just go away. Anyway, where's Nathaniel? Is he still here? Oh, he's playing in the sprinkler. Look at this whole man. Oh my god, I love him. I love him so, so much. Um, Alright, so... Let's just kind of talk to him, you know? Like, he, we need to become friends at least. So, I want to consider his attractiveness and see what she thinks of him, like, out of 10. So, let's go ahead and do that. Alright, John, you weren't invited. Can you please leave? Oh, he had to go. Oh, that sucks. All right. Um, since the party is pretty much over, I think I'm going to head into creative sim and give him his makeover really quickly because, I mean, as cute as he is, he needs some CC. So I will be right back. All right. So I've just finished with Ace's makeover and this is him. He's so cute. So freaking cute. Look at him. I went for like a blue theme with his outfits, by the way. So like you'll see a lot of blue. Um... But yeah, this is his everyday wear and he is so cute. Um, he's a bit of a room makeover, but I think I will just do his bed for now. I'll probably just take this out. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna quickly give this a makeover. So I'll be back with you guys in a second. Oh, oh. Miro, uh, they're, they're woohooing in my bed. What? I was just coming in to show you that I've just finished with Ace's bed, but I come into Miro and Jubediah woohooing in my bed. I mean, sure. Anyway, I finished with Ace's room. Okay, I wonder if she's pregnant. What are you doing? No, she's not. Okay. Um. Oh god, they're both striding. Anyway, um, so I finished with his room and this is what it looks like. I'm hoping the bed's functional. I haven't actually tested it yet, but we will test it together. So Ace, can you come and see if you can sleep in your bed? Learn the fishing skill? Yes, absolutely. Take a class? Sure. Is it functional? Can you get in? He has a sleepwear. Okay, he can. Perfect. The bed is functional. Right, Meadow's exhausted as well. So why don't you just go to sleep and then, actually, can you ask everyone to leave? No. Okay, right, just go to sleep. They'll leave. All right, who is here? So we've got Jebediah and we've got Mido. Is that it? Is it just the two? Oh, and Don and John are playing in... Don and John are playing in the sprinkler. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the morning. Okay, Ace is waking up and he's woken up with the want to get attention from Dad. I'm sorry, boy, but that is probably not going to happen. It's just probably not. So, yeah, sorry. Um, But where is the nearest fishing spot? Like, can he fish here? I need to go fishing there. You put, uh, do you have school today? Yeah, okay. Right, he can go fishing just over at the river. Get that skill going because you need to be a fishing master. Sammy is still asleep. I don't blame her because it is 4 a.m. So, yeah, we're just going to let Ace go fishing and I will see you when Sammy wakes up. Okay, so Ace has got the fishing skill, which is great. He can go home now because the school bus is going to be here in an hour. Oh, Sammy is up. Playing in leaves, of course, as per usual. Right, she can come and use the toilet and then... Clean out the bad food first. And then she's going to make some breakfast. I love this outfit so, so much. Like, how cute is she? Oh, stank face. 
Oh my god, are those plates stacked? That's so cool. Okay, and we need to work on our garden today. And we also need to plant our money tree. All right, Ace, time for school. Make some friends today. All right, so she's eating. So once she's done with that, we will be planting the money tree. And we're going to put it there. Why not? Let's get her to come tend to the garden this morning. And then we can sell our harvestables because we need 7,000 till a promotion. So it's going to be a while because that is a lot of money. I think once Sammy's done with her garden, I think we're going to invite Nathaniel out because I really want them to get together. We need to have a move on with these kids because we need to have three kids and we only have one. And how long does she have? She has 12 days till she ages up. So we're going to move pretty quick with him in this episode. I think I want him to be our boyfriend. And then maybe he could move in. This is really annoying me that there's no dirt in here. So I'm just going to fix that really quick. There we go, that makes more sense. Now there's actually dirt in here. All right, so she's done with the garden. Let's get her in the shower. And while she's showering, we will sell the stuff she got. All right, so we... Oh my gosh, we got like two grand out of that. We need 5,000 more till we get a promotion. So it might actually not take that long. But when we move to a new house, we have to plant all new plants again, which is a little bit unfortunate. So maybe we should, if we find any more money trees, leave them in our inventory so we can replant them at the new house. All right, can you clean that? And then we're going to invite... Nathaniel out. All right, let's go. Let's go swimming. Even though it's cold, we're going swimming. What is the degree? That's one degree. I mean, it's an indoor pool. Oh, yes, he wants to come. All righty, let's go. Oh, sorry, I got hung up or something. Maybe we can meet, meet up soon. I'm going to invite him over when we get there. All right, he said he'll be here in a second, so... <gasps> is this him? <gasps> He's here. Let's come say hey. All right, we're both in the pool. Um, She decided to go in the pool, so so did he. All right, let's have a hold breath contest. Let's splash him. This series is going to win the contest. Right, there they go. I reckon he'll win. Oh, we won. Yo. Who is, who is that? Oh my god, we're so romantic interest with Dawn. We need to break that off. So if we ever see him, we're breaking it off. All right, can we like get him out of the pool? I don't think so. Um, Why don't you come and relax until he gets out of the pool and then we'll go get some food. This pool is popping off, by the way. Look at all these people swimming. I suppose like it is an indoor pool. Who doesn't want to go swimming when it's cold outside? But like it's inside, you know? Oh, the thing was that, the thing was that, the thing was that. Right, go, go. Um, great. Oh, he is so cute. Um, so let's ask him about his, like what his sign is. Ask if he's single. I wouldn't know what his career is. Age, gender preference. Get to know him. He is honestly so freaking cute. He's family oriented. He's a Taurus. Okay. Um, consider his attractiveness. I still want to do this. He is single. Beautiful. You won't be for long. Oh, he's in politics. Okay. He's ambitious. Oh my gosh, we've almost learned like all of his traits. We have like two more to learn. <gasps> 10 out of 10, blindingly stunning. Oh my god, can we throw on like a flirt? Do you think he will take it? <gasps> oh my god, did I just joke? Um, amorous hug. Do we think he'll take one of those? Try for baby. I would love to. I really would. First kiss. Oh my god, look at this. Oh my god. <gasps> React to skiing dip it. No, we don't care about skiing dip it. Alright, she's inviting him over. She has a naughty reputation. So what? Don. If that's over. All right, let's head home with him. Maybe we can have a woohoo. No, I don't think we should. Maybe. <gasps> Me don't want you, but I have a good baby. Oh my gosh. <gasps> I can't wait. All right, let's come inside. Um, Do we have any food? We've got some nachos. Why don't we call to meal guests? See if we'll come and have some nachos with us. <gasps> He's having nachos with us. Oh, that went bad. It's really awkward. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> We're gonna poison the poor guy. Oh my god, we're gonna throw up. Both of us. Give him some purple flowers. I wanna ask him to be our boyfriend. You know, why not? We've never had a boyfriend before. Gaze into eyes. Oh my gosh, adorable. Propose going steady. Please don't vomit before you can ask him. <gasps> he said yes! Oh my gosh, right, can we ask him to stay over before we go throw up? Do you want to stay over? <gasps> she entered into an exclusive relationship. He's spending the night. Why not? I'm into it. My love. Oh god, what did I do? Try for baby. No. All right. Well, she's exhausted. It's four a.m. Oh my god, I didn't even realize. Right, go to sleep. <laughs> Ace is literally waking up for the day. He's got school today. It's Friday. He did his homework. So, oh, he's a B. Well done, smarty pants. Oh my god, he's not rendered. That is actually. Oh my god, that was terrifying. Did you see that? All right. Well, I'm gonna pick up when Sammy wakes up. So I will see you guys then. All right. Let's come in here and start tending to my garden. We need to invite Don over and break up with him. So I think that's what we're going to do today because, you know, he's been an ass. He hasn't contacted us about his son. Yes, he came to his birthday party, but probably because he felt like he had to. 
you know, he was probably forced by Roxy to go. She was probably like, no, go, it's like your son. Because she knows how it would feel if he didn't turn up to their kid's um, birthday party. So I'd say that's what's happened. So we're going to go and break things off with Don. Sure, I'll come over in a little while. Right to here at Don. Right, let's get in here and let's serve some uh, lunch up. Let's do some salad. When Ace gets home for dinner. Oh god, we need to do the laundry. Oh, Ace, you stink, buddy. Go take a shower. Oh, he got a promotion. He works from 9 till 3. Right, great way to keep track of him. Oh, Don's here. All right. Greet rudely. Right, screw the salad. Greet Don rudely. We are angry. We are not happy. All right. Mean. Accused of being a diva. Be like, you're such a diva. You don't even, like, check in on your son. You don't even ring him. Insult him. Like, just... We can argue some more, and then we're going to ask him to just be friends. Because, seriously, Don, you're an ass. You don't want anything to do with your son. Right, we need to argue some more, because I want their relationship to not be good. We learned that he has commitment issues? Yeah, well, we can tell. Right, leave. Go away. Shoo. Right, continue cooking. Right, where's Ace? He's doing his homework. What a good boy. Oh, I need to sell this stuff so we can see what how close we get to a promotion. So we are... 5,177 simoleons away. Okay, we're making pretty good money off of our plants because we just earned like 2.3-ish K, which is pretty, pretty good. So I'm happy with that. Oh my gosh, looks like Mido has come into some money. 96,000 simoleons to be exact after the passing of dear old Buzz Rhodes. Oh my gosh, she is absolutely rich. Oh, we have 14k now. That's pretty good. Become friends with Don? No, you don't want that. But this is where I'm going to leave today's episode. I really hope you guys like Nathaniel. Let me know in the comments if you do. Let me know if you're enjoying the series as well. I'm really enjoying playing with it. In the next episode, we will probably move in Nathaniel and then maybe get engaged because she is getting old. You know, we just have to face that. She's getting really old. I think she'd want to be married before she had any more kids just because of what happened with Don, I think she'd want a bit more stability before she even woohooed with them, you know? I think she'd think about it, but she'd be like, yeah, no, I don't want to woohoo in case I get pregnant again and the same thing happens. So, yeah, I think that's what we're going to go with. So, hopefully you guys agree with that. And, yeah, let me know what you think down in the comments. But I really hope you enjoyed today's episode and I will see you guys in the next one. Mm -hmm.